Okay. So, as we said, the lower half from the top, once we get to top of your back swing, when it moves, top of the back swing now, the swing's got to start working from the ground. I don't know, sometimes, on occasions, we see that sort of spine angle from here, rather than sort of maintaining the hips backwards a yeah. bit and rotating around yourself, mm -hmm. the hips just start going forwards and you end up with your spine more in that position, yeah. okay? So just the hips go forward, the club yeah. now overtakes, the ball's going to be going left, okay? Yeah. The club face is going to overtake your hands. You flip it a little bit, you get a bit more mm -hmm. of a flip rotation that way, and the ball sort of starts left of time. It's a nice powerful draw, but it's going to be clap yeah. bang in the tree. So one way to just sort of compensate against that is A, to get the hips obviously moving this way towards target, as we did in this case. The first movement now is from the ground up, hips moving, clearing and rotating. Arms and just dropping and almost almost dragging behind the body as the body's now clearing and the club now coming back yeah. into impact. Okay, if the spine angle tucks up yeah. and it goes forwards this way, it's very hard for it to actually rotate. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, under and again, we said at the start of the round, first hole, a bit stiff. Yeah. Second hole, you'd warmed up a little bit. Third hole probably was a better tee shot than yeah. the first tee shot, but still not great. Mm -hmm. Then you warmed up a bit more. Fourth tee shot was okay. Fifth, yeah. sixth, and you're okay. So if we can get yourself in a better position, in terms of being more supple and more able to move on the yeah. golf course, 10, 15 swings in a net, I would say, sure. be sufficiently enough. Okay. doesn't take a lot. I mean, it would take in five, ten minutes to do that. Yeah. Just get yourself, again, start with a few wedges, mm -hmm. hit maybe three wedges, three eight irons, three five irons, three drivers done. Yeah. And then you're ready to go on the first tee now with a bit more I'm rowing to go, yeah. rather than on the first tee. Yeah. Supple. And again, like you, like me, the taller we are, there's a lot more going on from the shoulder to the golf ball. Yeah. Any error from here to there, it's going to be a big yeah. difference. The distance yeah. you're catching the golf ball, that stuff, if you get it slightly off at impact, an inch off at impact, 30 yards off yeah. in the direction down there, yeah. and that's going to cause you too much problem. So yeah, once you get that, and this one, you really just need to sort of get through that one really well, yeah. a bit more so than the other couple. Full rotation round onto that side. That was a good movement. So from here, the hips have got to move and clear to yeah. say, the club. if they do this, yeah. they're just stuck. And you just can't get your club out of the way. The club flips over yeah. and it's going to be going left. So the stiffer you are, you're not quite warmed up, that will happen. The hips can work better once you are warmed up. Mm -hmm. It will be a better shot. Okay. But certainly I think you use the mat or trying to eliminate the use of the mat as being a comfort blanket for alignment. Okay. Get yourself used to aiming at other things out on a range, okay. so not, not just with the mat each time, okay? Yeah.